Well, I, I, I like working with impermanence, first of all, for myself. So I think letting go is the most important thing we can contemplate, even before love. Because if we really know deep down how to let go, let go of work, let go of six weeks of work in this exhibit, uh, I can let go of that. There's space in me. There's more space. When you have space in yourself, then you can more easily love freely. So that's my experience in life. And this helps to ground me in that experience. And this happens every day. This happens every day. All around me, stuff is, I see it in nature, like sloughing off, going back to the earth. And I'm a part of that. And this helps me to face my own life and my own reality. So I like it as a practice, like as a self-practice. And I don't know, maybe it's like years and years of doing sand trays with kids and the sand trays, you make a world in the sand tray and then soup, you make another world and then, oh, here comes another world. Like kids are in that momentum all the time. I have learned so much from them. Just let it go and something else is gonna come. Mm -hmm. So, it, for me, it's a practice. So not that I won't be sad, I'll have sad feelings, but also there will be um, other things coming of it. And the, the, I know from taking down installations in the past, I mean, there's so many unexpected surprises, unexpected things that happen, just like putting it up. Unexpected, I didn't plan all this. Each piece led to the other piece, spoke to me of the next piece. It's really like a weaving. It's nothing I can plan. So also in taking it down, oh, I know something interesting is gonna happen. So that's just, it's just, I don't know. I, I'm fascinated by that.